Private Elvis Presley was drafted in the Army in 1958. He was already a huge star, and he could have been a singing soldier in big entertainment shows, but he chose to serve like everyone else served, shooting a rifle and driving a Jeep in Friedberg, Germany. I'm all shook up. <laughs> okay, he didn't quite serve like everyone else. Barracks? No, no, no. He had his own money, and he lived with his family and friends for a while at Hotel Grunwald, now located at Elvis Presley Plots in nearby Bad Nauheim. Elvis's landlord is still there. She keeps his room pretty much as he left it, and it's available for the fan who wants to sleep in his bed, look in his mirror, and rub a dub in his tub. Well, my hand is shaking and my knees are weak. The lobby is a mini Elvis museum. My favorite was the picture of Elvis reading about himself while lying on a couch that was in front of me. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. This is the field where Elvis used to play football and that he now looks down upon. And here's the street where Private Presley posed for the album A Big Hunk of Love. So when I win American Idol, I'm going to come back here and have someone take the photo for the CD. I'll have to get somebody to move all these cars, though. The Elvis tour of how Elvis spent his tour is solid now, but it gets better soon. Ray Barracks is closing, but it will open up to fans by hosting an Elvis Expo at its Capri Club. The man, his musical genius, and his military hua all on display for one month starting August 15th. In Freeburg, Army Sergeant Mike Wetzel.